It is just after 10.15 this Tuesday morning and we're following a tragic and terrible story out of Corning, California, just south of Red Bluff. We're hearing that three people uh, may have been injured in a shooting, one of whom may have been uh, a student, a young a young child. We're heading right now to Rancho Tehama School in Corning. Uh, a Sheriff's County official briefing uh, Media members say said that off the top of their head they could think of five locations involved with this shooting. So this sounds like something that started away from the school, possibly near the school at a building, and then the violence sort of spilled out toward the elementary school. So we're heading there now, but again, this is just after 1015. Keep following ABC 10 News and on Facebook and .com uh, for the latest, and we will give you updates as we uh, make our way there and find out more. I don't know what time the call came in. It was right about 8 a.m. We had multiple shots fired in Rancho Tehama. Uh, that evolved to multiple victims and multiple shots at the school, the elementary school. I am told at this point, the suspected shooter is deceased by law enforcement bullets. That's what I'm told. Um, I don't have a list of victims. I don't know how many victims. Uh, I know of at least three deaths. I don't know any information at this time about any of the victims at the school. I know that we have met a number of students. I know that the school has been cleared. I know that um, we have the children that were attending school in a safe location at this time. Uh, that is, you now know really what I know, okay? Uh, we have about 100 law enforcement personnel in Rancho Tehama right now with multiple, multiple scenes. Um, I can think of at least five scenes that I've been told about. So we are spread thin, but we have a lot of resources right now and you can see that we're still requesting ambulances and we're still doing our work. Uh, that's the only information I have. The shooters uh, believe to be is deceased at the scene. Uh, we have initiated the officer incident shooting protocol that is being headed up by Lieutenant Matt Hansen of the Red Bluff Police Department. The investigators included are from the District Attorney's Office Bureau of Investigation, the California Highway Patrol, and assisted by the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Both officers have been secured from the scene. We have recovered Suspected used by the shooter, a semi-automatic rifle and two handguns. That is all the information that I have and that's all the information I've been Story. authorized to release. And the crazy thing is, is that the neighbor has been shooting a lot of bullets lately, hundreds of rounds, large magazines. And, you know, we just, we've made it aware that this guy has been crazy and he's been threatening us. And Everything like that, we just feel like maybe we're a little crazy. And how's your roommate right now? Unfortunately, he's not good. He, he's dead. He didn't make it. You know, for his family and everything like that, you know, I feel bad and we'll be there for them. Um, I don't know. How are you feeling about this all since you knew he was a problem, you said? Uh, I just feel like maybe there should have been more effort put into potentially stopping things like that.